call me crazy. The, the I defendant. am not crazy! But something tells me you want to learn about Egret White by Sherwin-Williams. This is an off-white paint color that many designers appreciate because of its simplicity. And in this video, I'm going to simply tell you some information about it. Maybe whether or not it's actually white at all, and whether or not you should use it in your home. I'm also gonna give you three other paint colors that go really well with it, that you can use as accent colors, or just other wall color choices for completely different areas of your home. All these colors really suit each other, and that's kind of the point here. Not only that, I'm also gonna give you two different trim color options that you can use on your baseboards and your doors and your frames and all that. Oh my God! Wow! So let's get right into this color quickie on Egret White. So really, the color itself feels more light rather than white. I wouldn't say it's completely bright or stark and clean like a traditional white paint might look. In fact, I actually know it's not because when you have it next to a pure white background, you can really see that it has some coloration to it. To me, it has this mix of gray and almost a slightly peachy brown to it, which I think is pretty pleasant overall, but it's definitely not white. So don't even try to lie to us, okay? We can even determine how not white it is by looking at its light reflectance value, which is just a fancy way of saying its lightness score. And according to Sherwin-Williams, it scores a 70 out of 100 in terms of lightness. So that's definitely far from pure white, which would have been 100 out of 100, but still relatively light all things considered. It's soft enough of a color where you could use it in place of white, I guess. Those more light and bright areas of your home, like your hallways and those open living areas. Maybe those parts of your home that you want to feel lighter, more airy. You know what? Egret White can accomplish that. It also feels fairly balanced, which is kind of cool. And that's because it's a light neutral color that has that warm peachy quality to it, but it's also settled with some gray to keep it feeling nice and relaxed. It doesn't feel like it has too much of either side. Now, one big benefit of this color not being white is it's not going to completely wash away and blend into any white furniture or even curtains you might have. There's going to be that distinction, which is a plus. Overall, I feel this color is really passive in the sense where it's not really a statement color in any circumstance. But I think that's a good thing if you're looking for a neutral canvas color that can blend into the background a bit. It might be overkill to use this color everywhere throughout your home because it could feel a bit boring, but that's why I have three other colors that you can use to spice up your home's color palette. Starting with Pediment, which is another one of those neutral paint colors that feels sort of soft and warm, but it's also a bit earthy because of its combination of brown and gray. It has a bit of both, and that translates to a slightly rosy quality in the form of a stronger red undertone. It also has more depth than Egret White with a 61 LRV, meaning it's reflecting only 61% of the light that hits it compared to Egret White's 70. So it's darker, but not too dark for most rooms, I would say. I really like these colors around that 60 LRV range, mainly because they're light, yet still feel substantial, like they actually have color. These two colors together create a very subtle pairing. They have a more understated color relationship, and these are meant for the people that are still looking for those clean slate colors that are also a bit different and darker than just plain old off-white. Kind of a select group of people to be fair, but I do like these two colors together. Introducing a little more color with our next two choices, starting with Silver Mist. What a lovely, soft, cool green. This color really takes things into a bit of a coastal direction, am I right? That's what I was going for. In terms of its depth, this is the darkest color we've talked about so far, but it's still technically a mid-tone. It's gonna feel like an accent color next to Egret White for sure, but if you did wanna use it throughout a room, I think it's a fantastic choice, especially in bathrooms, but even sectioned off family rooms because it's just such a chill color in my mind. Dry Dock takes things into a different direction, although you could argue still fits that nautical theme a little bit. <laughs> I describe it as a dusty lumber brown, and it almost has this hot chocolate type of coloration to it where it has a softness, but it doesn't feel dull and overly grayed out, which some dusty colors can have. Now, what about trim colors for Egret White? So normally people gravitate towards white on their baseboards and stuff, but because we're starting with a pretty light color already, I think I'll give you the dark color first, and that's Night Owl. 
this is an interesting one because you could call it an off black of sorts, maybe a charcoal gray, but it has a brown undertone that also takes things into a slightly green direction, which could spook some people, but I do find it to be intriguing, like compared to wrought iron black, which you see a lot on doors these days. Still very nice looking, but why not switch it up, right? A much safer trim option is to go with something like pure white, which has a name that is pretty self-explanatory. It's at least going to look pure next to egret white, which is kind of the point. There's also enough of a lightness difference between the two where you will notice your white trim and woodwork because it's going to feel a lot brighter and more clean, but not overly so at the same time. It really has a nice little middle ground. Bright, but not too bright. I really like pure white as a color. So much so that we talked about it in this video right over here. Check it out if you wanna know about its undertones and what other colors you can pair with it as well. You're awesome.